good evening. Uh, good evening. Our special guest for tonight is Paul Hegeman, direct from Holland. Paul, your first time to be in Belgrade? Okay. Let's see if it works. Yeah. Does it work? I so. No, I don't think so. I've got a loud voice, well, probably you. 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 Now it works. Fantastic. Do you hear us? Okay. Welcome to Belgrade. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be in Belgrade. First time. Yeah, first time. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Especially, I, I, I'm cherished today by beautiful weather. People were very nice. And let's see. This. And it's very crowded tonight. Thank you. A lot of people. I'm very uh, satisfied to be here. Paul, oh, uh, you're a man of a very long film career, yeah. and you already made a lot of film uh, with music mm -hmm. as a main topic in your work. Yeah. Uh, is it possible to make the demarcation line between the importance of movie making and music in your life? I don't know. I, don't, I think that I've always tried to call What is priority in your work? Mm -hmm. What is priority? Um, I, I try to explain that it's a bit strange that um, originally I studied French and right. ph philosophy, cultural philosophy I must say, and at a, certain, at a certain moment I was very young, I was teaching when I was 21, 22, teaching French on my, at school, but uh, at a certain moment I was finishing my, uh, my thesis in Paris, about surrealism and cinema, and I met, of course, I met a woman. It's impossible to not to meet a woman in Paris, <laughs> and she was studying at EDEC, the, 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 the French uh, uh, education to be a filmer. And well, at the EDEC, they say well, you've got talent. Why aren't you going? And I must say that before the EDEC, already I was always from, let's say, 60, 70 years on. I was always making films, short, short films. But at the same time, I adored cinema, and for a long time I've written about cinema, uh, and I... For a long time? For a long time. I still do it, and even I'm going to do, uh, uh, pass the, uh, uh, do the, ex the exams at the, the film school in Holland, that's starting at the end of the, this month. So there's always that connection with cinema. But music, when I started for a broadcast company in Holland and they asked me to make, an, 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 let's say, an, a, a, a program about music in which I've really got all the great names from Frank Zappa, you, 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 can, you can name a, a, a legend in, in, in music and we had it in the program, it was, it was very successful. Afterwards, I continued, and I must say, at the same moment, I made lots of films of uh, music in Africa. And there's an, always, uh, once you've been in Africa, and I made a film about Yusuf Ndour from Senegal. And once, if you have been in, in Africa and you like it, you start the second time, you, you, you begin to adore it. Because it's even, there is, uh, in spite of the poverty, there is a feeling of and, and that is the, the moral of the film and at the end of the film of Afro Pair 2, there is the feeling that you have to do it with all of you, that you have to combine forces, that you cannot do it uh, in, in life by yourself. And, and also, uh, there was an, uh, there's an, a singer, a songwriter called Javi Kwate, who told me, and he's touring about the world, and he said, when I'm in, in, in Holland or in the United States and I'm in a train, and people are looking in my eyes, they always look like this. That's the typical difference between our world, and that's also accounts in this globalized world for, 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 for Serbia, at, 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 uh, certainly too. In our world, we, in our very individualistic world, very materialistic world, you all, they say you have to develop yourself, you have to do it by yourself. And I think, don't think that finally, and gradually, we realize that it is a mistake. And for me, that is the, the central point in this film. And that's why there were two reasons to end this film. After the titles, and that is first to show that Arvo Peck is not really able to formulate his sentence in a very, let's say, in a very... Uh, yeah. 
good to have good to it's not the, the word but it's 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 a little bit stumbling and like this and he has trouble to find his words while on the other hand while you see him working with the the cello octet the the, the 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 language of his body is also is fantastic the way like like he's doing this and of, of course i emphasize in my editing uh, things like that just so the the body language of arvo pet but also it's and I, for me, the, the best point in the film is at the end of the film, when you see five minutes long, with only one cut in it while the, uh, the cello octet is playing, so then you see to which he is, uh, uh, what, uh, what he is watching, then you see in a couple of minutes, you see certainly ten ways of, exp of facial expressions, of, 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 of grief, of irritation, of enchantment, everything is in it, and that's per, that's really I think that 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 summarizes a little bit the the, 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 the mystery, the beauty of our uh, I could be wrong, but uh, there are two main questions in your movie: the question of beauty and the question of spirituality. Yes. Do you share my opinion? The first, I don't know. The second, certainly, spirituality. Spirituality comes very much, of course. They always say. Yeah, it's, it's, what is spirituality? For me, for me, spirituality, I was religious, I, I must say, I'm not religious anymore. But our composer but, but, is a man of inner space and a man of vision. Yeah, but religion is, spirituality is more than religion. <coughs> spirituality for Arthur Peck is certainly in a way that if, for instance, if you uh, listen to his music, then at the same time, you can feel a grief, you can almost, when I, once, uh, once again uh, tonight, when I uh, listen to the, the deer's cry and uh, my heart's in the highlands, it's not so difficult to, to weep, to cry. It's, it's so touching, it's incredible. But on the other hand, when I listen to his third symphony, there's a power in it and, 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 and an anger towards Everything towards what the Dan Roche says, says so so well in uh, summarized so well in his in his uh, about talking the condition humain of people. At the same time, you feel as you would be you are so fragile. Life is so beautiful, and why uh, uh, why are they, is is this world uh, destroying everything which that is so beautiful around us? And that's why I call this film a radical film. Yeah, I agree with you. In it's a radical film, also in quite in film uh, form, but yeah, in, but but also, in music, yeah, 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 but yeah, in film yeah, form yeah. too. Yeah. But it's very interesting. All of your participants in the movie insist on simplicity of, of music of parody. Yeah, is yeah, that true? Apparently, but on the other side, apparently simplicity. Yeah, but on the other side, it's very very difficult to catch yeah, exactly. vibrations yeah, exactly. and, and yeah, some notes yeah. or some meanings yeah. and yeah. so. Deeper space in deep music. Yeah, is that yeah. correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, that's correct. Another thing I would, another thing that I would like to say here is that I. What was your fascination with his music? For his music. Yeah. What is so specific in your opinion? Of Arvo Pet. Now, like I told you, that that there are the, the, the everything is. I suppose is, kind of difference. No, I think which that kind of the four minutes of his of the, 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 the uh, medium shot of his close up yeah. that summarizes it a little bit. That's for me the music of Arco Pert. That is at a certain moment it's irritation about everything that is failing in, in his life. On, uh, but at the same time you are touched. You are you, you feel you so much emotion. You feel. You also feel a kind of re relaxation, you feel the quietness, you feel silence also. Silence yeah, absolutely. Also. So there is so much in it. And I've tried to, to, to portray him like this, not only, uh, like I told you, in his body language, but also in his way in talking to the cello orchestra, because... And the way of thinking too. Yeah, but then because there are moments that he is a bit irritated, but you can do it much better. Another way, at the end, he is really is grateful. But how long you know him before the, the movie? Um, For I, a long I, time? 
Yeah, it's music from the beginning on. Okay. And it has something to do with, uh, and also it has something to do with making an, uh, an special, uh, docu a small documentary about BCM label of Manfred Eicher, and Manfred Eicher is the man who has launched the career of Eicher Pets. You, that you, you can say that. And it's a, a bit of pity that he's not in the film, because I've waited more than a year, because I, I insisted to have, having him in the film, but he's got problems with his health, and he had problems with uh, Universal for uh, streaming, etc., etc. That's uh, not something for me to, to explain here. So he is not in the he's not in the film, and that's, that's a, bit, a little bit of pity. But uh, when I made a film about ECM, well, the the, 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 the the two main figures of ECM are Keith Jarrett and Arvo Pertz. And uh, which is funny is that the first record of ECM is played by Keith Jarrett also, and uh, people like Jan Garbeck. Uh, if, 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 if people are really fond of music, they certainly know the ECM label because it's such a famous label. And uh, at that time, also already, I was considering making a film about Arvo Pertz, which is almost impossible because, like you see, he's not a people. He's, he's very warm man and he's not afraid of being surrounded by people but he hates the limelight there's a funny thing was there in the guardian in the paper and uh, it was the what is the, the biggest music prize in, uh, in England is anyway in the Royal Albert Hall they, they gave him last year the big uh, they always gave him all the prizes in the world they gave him the biggest prize and he, they described how he rushed to the stage half with the speed of half his age. But they also said, but he returned to his place with the, 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 the speed of a 20 young man, of a, a young man of 20 years old. Because he hates being in the limelight. He likes people, he, he, he adores people. But not being around and not all the publicity. Also that reputation, that is, he is not uh, responsible for responsible for being portrayed like a hermit, like a, a, a recluse who is afraid of people. That's all publicity stuff. You did you see for the first time, that's why I'm really glad in my own film, you, you cannot say that of course, I, I must say I'm glad in film, because this is the real pact, like you see. And that's the reason also why I choose not to um, to do the, the regular form and it's all kinds of talking heads of Argo Pet himself. So that's, and, but at the end, I still I, I would show that uh, if we would have chosen for the forum in which Pet tells his own life, then probably it would have been a failure, a disaster. 